Hello and welcome to Me and Her After Kids. I'm me and her is out doing her thing. Today I want to talk to you about the five things that I learned while camping in this pop-up truck camper up on Texoma for a whole week here in the winter. Y'all stay with me. It's going to be fun. First off, I want to tell you that me and her, we've camped our whole lives. We've camped from tent camping to pop-up campers to pull-behinds to fifth wheels, and now we're in this Alamino. So when you think you know it all, you really don't. And I still was able to learn a few things. So that's what you call teaching a dog new tricks, you might say. So the first thing that I learned was I needed earplugs. I should have known this from having that trailer pop up that we had for so many years when we were raising our girls, but because that canvas still pops in the wind, but I didn't. So it was really windy up there and that thing was popping pretty good and it kept me up a couple of nights, especially when it was blowing around 40 miles an hour. So the very first thing that I learned is I need to bring some earplugs. The second thing I learned is once we got up to the campsite and I got this thing all set up and rolled out everywhere that I was pretty much stationary. I couldn't just run to town. Oh, I guess I could if, if I rolled everything up, took 30, 45 minutes and went to town and come back and did it all again. But it kind of dawned on me if there was a problem, if I needed something, it was going to take me a little bit to get it. So either we have to take a second vehicle with us on a tow behind, or I have to decide if I'm going to drop this thing and pull out from underneath it just like I would my fifth wheel. So I guess that was the second thing deciding if I was going to leave it on the truck or take it off. The third thing that I learned was I'm about to get one of those portable black water totes. This little tank on this camper is only five gallons and it fills up pretty quick. We were able to manage for a week up there just by letting her use it and me taking the long walk to the little toilets they had up there that wasn't very impressive. But I think it would be a lot easier. I'd have to find a way to mount it. This I don't want to keep it in the truck or in the camper, of course, of course. But it would be just a lot easier when this little tank fills up to transport it into that other one and pull it up to the dump station. It's got wheels, so it ought to be pretty easy. But I think that's what I learned on number three. That one's going to be important when we're out boondocking. The fourth thing I learned is this sink is very little. You can't even do the dishes in it plate won't even fit in it. You can't wash it. It's just it's just small. You can fit a coffee cup in there, but you can't effectively do any kind of dishes. If so the water goes all over the place. So number four would be a, to bring one of those plastic dish tubs with you. You know kind you can put hot water in, dish soap, and do your dishes the right way. We always had to take one back when we were tent camping and even when we had that full behind pop-up trailer. I guess I got spoiled using that big fifth wheel. It had so much sink space in it. And it's not a big deal, though. You can also use that tub as storage. That way it keeps your dishes nice and neat and not strung out all over the place every time you hit bump to turn corners. So it's not a big deal. And number five which actually should be number one, the most important thing that I learned about sleeping in this little truck camper for a whole week is don't overpack. And I overpacked. I had that dually packed full back seat. You, every time you open the door, it fell out. Every time you hit the brake, stuff fell in the front seat. I had this thing packed down. I didn't even use half that stuff. Man, I just way overpacked. I thought I was packing like I'm going on vacation for a month. Didn't even use it. So the number one thing that I learned about this little bitty camper is just don't overpack. I mean, you know what you're doing. Been camping for years. Just take what you think you're going to need. And you guarantee you ain't going to need that. And that's the good thing about camping like this. 90% of the time, you're going to be within 30, 45 minutes from some kind of big conglomerate chain market or whatever that you can go buy something at, unless you're just way out in the desert or 
or something, but you don't need all that stuff. I promise you. There's always going to be something you forget, and there's always going to be crap that you don't use. But in the end, I, the idea is just to have fun. And that's why I got rid of my boat. Man, it just got where it wasn't fun anymore. It took all day long, the day before, to get the boat ready, to get it geared up, to go out on the water for about three to four hours, and then come home and get the boat ready for storage again. Yeah, it just wasn't fun anymore. So if you don't make it out to be a job, then it's going to stay fun. But that's all I got. Those are the top five things that I learned. And I'm an old dog, and I learned them. Or maybe I just forgot about them and had to relearn them again. Kind of got used to that big camper with everything already in it. But either, either way, that's what we got. I'm glad you stayed with us through this whole thing. It took about 400 takes to get what I wanted to say out, and I probably still didn't even do that. But anyway, I'll see you next time.